So here's game four, and wow, 26 turn game, really? I'm assuming that that's young witch, largely. What? Boho and Swindler Swindler? Okay. What is going on on this board? Is there just no trashing at all? Huh. There's no trashing. And Swindler is the card that turns off Young Witch. So, okay, I can sort of see that. Yeah, and that, that is going to make this a pretty scrappy game. It's... It's a little odd, because the rest of this board looks so extremely strong, but it's just not a board that you are really getting to that point on, because, you know, Swindler and no trashing. I wonder if you can ignore the Swindlers early in the game. Um, I don't know that you can. It certainly wouldn't be, like, miles better to do so. Swindler, Swindler, gold. <laughs> Alright, so DOJ... Running away with it on turn three. Buying Bazaar with... Five... Ghost ship seems really tempting, but you've already got two Swindlers in the deck. So I can I can see a bazaar for sure. How's bazaar different from city? It starts off giving plus one buck, but doesn't improve, I guess. So yeah, I think bazaar is fine. And DOJ is getting another gold. It looks like. I do definitely think that buying golds here makes sense, given how many swindlers are around. Gold is just you know, protected from Swindler. What? I, I replaced that Swindler with a Silver for sure. Um, okay, I think we're... Like, Bibbles bought three Bazaars in a row at this point, I think. I think we're going overkill a little bit here. I think Ghost Ship, for sure. Such a powerful card. Really, it's so, so powerful. Um, it's also, like, the only card draw, so... I guess Courtyard. Yeah, Courtyard's a real card draw. But, you know, you want something to do with all these plus actions that you're buying. DOJ is up to three Swindlers now. And he's really in a situation where it seems tough for his deck to come together at any point in the game. Just because he's bought... By come together, I mean, like, become a consistent beat moth sort of. Whereas Bibble at least has some bazaars on the way to setting up an action chain, DOJ is just going to be playing the hand that he draws every turn, sort of, rather than being able to build a coherent monster machine deck. Which is fine, the board isn't really going to lend itself to a consistent deck anyway. I guess sort of the point I'm trying to make is that you could conceivably draw your deck on this board. It is possible. But with no trashing and swindlers around to set that up, you cannot be buying golds. You can't really be buying silvers. Like, you really have to be buying bazaars and markets to begin with. And maybe that's better, maybe it's not. But it is a thing to recognize. Each gold that you're buying is taking you away from that ability. Okay, so... We continue, Bibble we'll buys Platinum. Makes sense. <laughs> We're all just buying bazaars. I don't understand why there are so many bazaars. 
I guess they're getting uh, swindled away. So there aren't actually that many. Only two of them have gotten hit. I don't know. There, it's it's just sort of a game that's really hard to comment on. Like there are tons of very small decisions going on, but in this wall of text, it just looks like people buying money in bazaars and eventually colonies. Wow, that's an underbuy. Um, ten bucks by a city. So I guess city is at this point. One pile's gone and another's pretty close. I don't think it's that good. Um, if you had. Oh, you have three platinum. Okay, I sort of like it. I don't know though. If I had eight, I would like buying a city. Maybe with ten, just another platinum though. Yeah, Bibble's definitely starting to pick up a lot of cities, though. Again, I like just giving him a silver instead of the Swindler. I do think Swindler's quite powerful on this board. Um... I really like how Bibble's playing his deck. Like, he's, he's got one silver, which I think was a, a good concession. He's got two swindlers, which I think were fine. And other than that, he's only bought a couple of gold, three platinum, and, like, every card he's bought otherwise has been towards setting up this drawing engine with City's late game. Which I, yeah, it's really outperforming DOJ's deck, which is, you know, much heavily, much more heavily weighted towards gold, but on a colony board, gold, you know, you need a lot of golds to buy a colony. <laughs> Platinum is much more important. So DOJ is getting out to quite a colony lead, but I think that we should be able to come back with just the higher deck quality as we get into like a scrappy End game. Oh no, DOJ won. <laughs> Take it all back. Um, by three points. So, and you had three jukes in your deck already. I think there are definitely some points in that game where Bibble wanted a duchy. <laughs> Specifically, the last few turns. Isn't that the game already? Bibble wins DOJ, Bibble, DOJ. Okay, no, it's 2-2. Two, two. Alright, so let's move on to the next game. I thought that was a pretty well-played game. It's sort of an interesting game to watch be played, probably. Um, a tough game to look at just running straight through it. I thought probably giving people silvers instead of swindlers would have been better. I thought the bazaars at the beginning were a little more than necessary. Um, definitely a ghost ship, I think, would have been an excellent buy for either player at any point. Ghost ship's really good. I don't know why. Two ghost ships. Got two. And otherwise, yeah, just, like, some small errors in the endgame, I think, ultimately decided 